What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. I know it's been like two weeks. Um, we'll explain tomorrow what happened, but we're back. I hope we're back on schedule. Uh, just to know we've had some busy stuff in our life, and I uh, hope we're back and we're good to go. I'm sorry I've been missing, but uh, what I said about Malamar two weeks ago became true, and now now I'll explain more uh, in tomorrow's video when I said Malamar is the best deck, and then well, I mean. You might be like, what are you talking about, Squeaky? And you'll see tomorrow when it wins this video. But back, here I am. Hey, beautiful. All right, so today we're looking at Palkia GX. Uh, it's not new, new. Uh, I, I like the new Palkia because now you can use, like, Aqua Patch and Max Luxor and get it super powered up and ready to go. So today we're playing Palkia GX. It's 180 HP. It has the attack Hydro Pressure. Now, this is a reprint kind of card. It was a dragon, but now it is a water type, uh, which Hydro Pressure does 60. And this attack does 20 more damage times amount of water G attached to this Pokemon. Uh, so obviously, you put a bunch of water G on it, and you start taking knockouts of Hydro Pressure. It also has zero Vanish GX. It does 150. Shuffle all energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon back into the deck. So they have a ton of energy in the field. You can zero Vanish GX. And uh, put it back in the deck. Also has spatial control. Move any number of energy from your bench Pokemon to this Pokemon if you want to. But the main attack we're going to use today is the Hydro Pressure attack. Uh, so let's see some friends we have. So Manaphy EX is going to give us a free retreat with Aqua Tube. Each of your Pokemon has a Water G attached to it. Has no retreat cost. Has Mineral Pump 60. We're not really worried about that. We also have this new card, Volcanium Prism Star, with the ability Jet Geyser. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Water G from your hand. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon, which might not seem that good, but if they have a non-EX or GX in the active spot, and you can pretty much knock out anybody in the active spot, you can use this Jet Geyser, switch the active or, the act or switch Pokemon in the active spot, and take a knockout without having to use a Guzma or something like that, which is really cool. Also has Sauna Blast 100, does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Could be good if you're playing against a uh, GX, EX, Hate deck. Uh, two, and Layla, of course, for supporter, supporter, support. Supporter, support. All right, so for Aqua Patch, dis, uh, attach a Water G from Discord Pile to one of your bench Water Pokemon. So you can get these uh, these Palkia's part of ASAP. Three Field Blower. We want our abilities for the min for the Aqua Tube. We could cut maybe down to two. Uh, four Max Luxor. Try to get the energies ASAP. White Super Rod. Four Ultra Ball. And three Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill is going to allow us to search deck for basic water or fighting Pokemon. Put onto your bench and shelf your deck afterwards. Now this is going to be good because all our Pokemon are water except for Tapu Lele. Now we do have another new card in here that is going to be Crasher Wake. Discard two water energy cards from your hand. If you do, search deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Now, this could be really good because you crash your wake, discard two water energies, grab an aqua patch, whatever you need, and you start setting up if you want to go that way. Uh, but you need the water energies in your hand, which might be somewhat difficult. So, I'm playing two of those. And then three of everything because I, I don't know how this porter card is going right now. We're playing three safety, three Guzma, three in, and three sycamore. Who cares? We're having fun. Today is Rogue Tuesday. Uh, and we're playing four Wishful Baton. We could cut down to three uh, Wishful Baton, but we're, we're having fun here. You could also play Choice Spin instead, which probably seems a little bit better. But Wishful Baton, if this Pokemon this card's attached to which active Pokemon, it's knocked out by damage from opponent's attack, moved up to three basic energy cards from this card to one of your bench Pokemon. So basically, if an active Pokemon gets knocked out, you move three energy from the active to the bench, and you get a new Palkia powered up. Now, this is a downside. If they play a stuff like Field Blur, they can get rid of your Wishful Baton, and then you just can't move your energies, which is very bad. Uh, so hopefully, we just gotta hope it works out. We keep the energy on the field. field. And 15 water G. We're going to try to keep these uh, water Gs on the field as much as possible. So we can use a giant Hydro Pressure attack. I have no idea if this deck's going to work good. I have not played a game since like two weeks ago. So I have no idea what the meta looks like right now. So we're going to play some games here. We're going to uh, save our deck box. Okay, there we go. There we go. Everything looks like it's back. I'll put Palkia GX. All right, so save, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play three games like we always do, guys. Missed you. I'm sorry. Been gone. Oh, a new versus ladder. hey Ladias EX. All right, look, I literally haven't played a game. It's literally on the same thing. Okay, hold on. M N N N O P Palkia GX. All right. So Palkia, Manaphy, Volcanian, I don't know. We're just going to call it Palkia GX, whatever. Uh, so Mystery 6789, what are we weak to? We are a water type, so maybe grass. I don't know. I didn't look into that really, but this could be a bad matchup, but I don't even know what the meta is, so we'll just go to it, swing at things. Uh, they're playing Zorak stuff, but have grass. Okay, so this is not too bad. Um, we got the Volcanian. Well, the only thing we don't have is the supporter card, right? It's pretty bad outside. I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad outside of that, but they do get a mulligan, which is good for us, so shuffle up, get seven new cards. Here we go. What do we find? 
Oh, it's a Garbodor deck. Garbodor no Glissopod. Hmm. What are we weak to? That, that's the question here. What are we weak to? I don't, I don't know. So, yes, we drop Mulligan. There's an N. Support a card. Trubbish. Good. Brooklyn Hill. Let's Brooklet. Let's grab ourselves a Palkia. Now we are weak to grass. Okay. Yep, that's a grass. All right. So, uh, Water G. Max Luxor. Put a Max Luxor energy on that guy. And we're just going to play in here. Get a new hand of six. Maybe we can get lucky and knock out a glitch pod before it powers up kind of thing. Uh, we'll max looks again to try to find energy to this Palkia. Try to get a power up turn one. Let's see. Do we find one? And we don't find one. Oh, no. All right. So we'll Ultra Ball. We'll discard the Ultra Ball and the Water Tree to grab another Palkia GX. Uh, we're going to have two of these guys. Looks like we, we prized one of them. That's fine. Uh, put down Palkia and we'll press it down to our opponent's turn. Now, next turn, we can attach a water to the active, all capacity to the bench, and start attacking with Hydro Pressure. It will knock out the Trubbish, but then Glisspot will come in the face and smack us, uh, which is not good. So, yeah, so there's an Ultra Ball. I imagine <clears throat> we will see some, some green guys come down. Maybe a Lele for a Bridget. Ooh. One thing my opponent could have done as well is maybe use that Brooklyn Hill to see what's in their deck first for the Ultra Ball for this Lele. Uh, because maybe Lele's price. I mean, I guess in hindsight, it really doesn't matter. Um, as long as they look to see if Bridget's in their deck. So they discard a DCE and an N. Their other cards in hand must be phenomenal, and that's what they're keeping it. And they receive a Lele. Imagine this Lele. We'll grab a Glisspod. So it looks like we're playing a Glisspod Garboder deck. All right. I don't know how this fav favors us. Probably really bad, I imagine. Uh, there's a bridge here, Brigetti Spaghetti coming on down. We're going to see probably two Trubbish, maybe just three Trubbishes. Not a bad thing right now. We are weak to grass, like I said. Uh, we will knock out the Trubbish, hopefully, next turn. If we find an Aqua Patch, a Water G, and we're good to go. There's three one pods in the field. I am so scared. And another Trubbish. Oh, my goodness, opponent. All right, well, we'll wish we saw on the act. Oh, no, the Bench Palkia. And we'll go for Synth to get a new hand of six here. I uh, see. What do we find? We find a Max Luxor. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff here, right? Um, da, da, da. Do we take the knockout or not? So we will max elixir. Put a water juice pocket. I think we just go for it, right? We just take the knockout here. Put a water juice in the active. We all capacity to the bench. Palkia at GX because if they don't have a if they don't have a way to discard the wish of baton, we can then maybe take a potential knockout the following turn. So we'll treat the Palkia. We'll go for the hydro pressure. All right, take a knockout here. Go down to four five price cards. Okay, so we get the five price card. We get a water GR. Okay, very nice. You can maybe attach this. Three, four, five. Uh, it's a 20, uh, 5, 10. Might just throw a math everywhere. Probably doesn't matter, right? Because we're doing 160 damage next turn. If this all works out, great. That's not really that high of an attack. All right, so Trubbish, please miss the Gliss Pod. That's all we're asking for, opponents. Please do not hit this Gliss Pod if you don't. I'll be so happy because we take a knockout and then we proceed to keep... I mean, I guess he technically does take a knockout here regardless. There's a DC to the bench and pass onto our turn. All right, so water to the bench. Now, we could go for Volcanian, but what does he bring up? I don't know. I don't think it's really that worth it right now. Uh, we'll feel more get rid of that choice band. Sure. Uh, we could go for Lele for Guzma. Oh, no, yeah. Lele for Guzma is actually like, the best play here. Oh, Josh, you're so silly. Yeah, well, well Layla for Guzma, knock out the Trubbish with a DC on it. Oops. Uh, probably should get the Fuel Blower. I forgot we had Layla in here. So Guzma, bring up the tr uh, the Wimpod, Cinnabar, Volcanion, retreat back into this Palkia. We'll take a knockout here. Is there anything we can, like, even Brooklyn Hill for? Nope. All right, so we will just go for the, the good old Hydro Pressure for the knockout. So go down to four price cards. All right, that's all I see. So we go down to four. Let's see. There's an end coming to hand. We don't care too much about the end. Here comes a Trubbish. All right, so with this Trubbish, he needs a Floatstone, a Gliss Pod, and an Energy Card. So there's an Ultra Ball. We'll just grab a Garbodor, maybe? Maybe a Gliss Pod? Hmm. Hmm. Does he play Field Blowers? There's a Lele. Okay, let's see. Will Lele grab him Sycamore? Oh, man. There's a Lele coming down. Let's see what is fine with this top of Lele. Man, I wish we played Choice Bands, because if we played Choice Bands, we could knock out Lele's. Alright, we could Goose bring it up with the Zero Vanish GX. Alright, there's a Choice Bands on the bench, and there's a Sycamore discarding an Acerola. Does he find himself a Gliss Pod? There's a Grass Unit's Wind Pod. And there's a Gliss Pod. Did he find himself a Floatstone this turn? And, yep, there's Floatstone. Alright, so he's taking a knockout here. Uh, here comes Gliss Pod. Does he have a Field Blower? He does not. So he's going to first pressure for 300 damage, taking a knockout, going on a four prize card. So we're going to move those three 
press done. We'll move it to the Palkia. Uh, yeah. All right, so we have five energy on him right now. So he's doing 160 damage. Hmm. We're going to get pretty lucky to take a knockout next turn. So it gives Volcanion onto our turn. We get a Brooklyn. So I'm going to go for Sycamore and just discard a hand on all seven cards. <clears throat> all right, so do we have the knockout now? Six, seven. Seven, 140, six. Oh, that's 200. That's not enough. Okay, so what we can do this turn though is actually take a knockout one of these, like one of these guys, if he sends that up. I think that's the plan here. So what I'm gonna do is go for Jet Geyser. <gasps> no, we can't because he's not in the active spot. Oh no, it doesn't make us both switch. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. What do we do now, guys? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, so we're gonna still Jet Geyser. Discard a water G, okay. See what he sends up. Who does he send up here? That's the question. Does he send up Trubbish? Hmm, even if he sends a Trubbish, what do, we, what do we do with that? Like, okay, here comes Tapu Lele. Now, with the Lele, we can take a knockout. Uh, we touch a water G, this guy, right? Let's see. So, if we touch a water G, we do 180. So I'll put a water in this guy. We will treat into the Palkia. Aqua Patch to the Volcanian. Whips up on the active and take a knockout with the Hydro Pressure attack. Yep, there we go. Take it a knockout. Do 180 damage. We're going to have two price cards. Okay. We get a Max Luxor and a Manaphy. Okay, they don't really care too much about the cards. Uh, we'll see a first impression this turn, right? Um, uh, but I think what we do here is send a Volcanion and Sauna Blast for 100 damage. I mean, he's probably going to win this game. Um, uh, not going to lie to you. There's a Head Ball for another Gliss Pod. Okay. Hmm. And there's a Garbodor. Okay, the Trash Lynch one. I don't care too much about the Trash Lynch one. Uh, let's take a, take a, can you take a knockout with it right now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Heck yeah, he can. Alright, so Ultra Ball probably going to be the Garbodor Garbotoxin. All right. <laughs> I think our only bet. Okay, there's an N. N is the two. Okay, cool. Hmm, good. There's a water to Guzma. Well, we can do 80 damage. There's a rain water to the Glarbador. All right, so I think the plan right now. Three, four, five. Oh, we actually don't have enough. Hmm, three. I don't know, so they have to take a knockout with this guy. We could Guzma up the the Lele. I hope he gets stuck in the act spot. So they can put the three on the Lele. Okay. We send up the Lele. Go for Guzma. Bring up this Lele, do 100, and then try to next turn take, win the game that way. Hope the Lele gets stuck. It's not the best idea, but it's the only idea I have right now. Because uh, he's already played, what, four Floatstones? Oh, three Floatstones haven't played. But all of these is Energy or Guzma to win the game next turn. We're not to. Well, yeah, he crossed and cut GX for the game. Hmm. So I'm sending the man if you regardless. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to send him right now. Okay. There's another Water Energy. Okay. What do we do here? Two price cards left. We can go for Sauna Blast, which is 100, which could knock out the Garbodor, uh, but then Trash Lynch comes and bops in the face. Um, we could discard energy, but I don't. that really doesn't do anything. We still have the Guzma hand. Hmm. We could... Okay, so I think the plan of attack... Is to go for... Oh, he has, he has Garbage Talks, Garbage Talks. Okay, that's, it doesn't matter. Whatever. I was going to say, maybe we can use the ability to bring us some of the bench to save Guzman for following turn. Let's Brooklyn Hill. Yep, we'll grab a Manaphy. It really doesn't matter. We'll thin our deck down just so we don't draw into it. I think the plan of attack is bring this Lele. Hope he doesn't have a way to, to bring it out of the Axe spot. So bring the Lele up. Send up to this guy. We'll go for the Sauna Blast. Do 120 to all the bench. 
All right, and man, just gotta hope he doesn't wait to retreat this. That's all we can really ask for. I mean, he has six cards in hand. All he needs is an energy, a floatstone, Guzma, a Sorolla. Uh, there's a Guzma, so he'll very good to bring up a Manaphy and win the game that way. Um, he could have DC and Crosscut GX. Okay, so weakness there was a pretty bad. That was a pretty bad game because weakness. I mean, he still took four price cards. Um, I guess the bad thing is we did have one Palkia prize. So we'll go to game number two. All right. So let's see. Let's go to play. Let's try this again. Let's try it again. We've got, we got to at least, one, at least win one game with Rogue Tuesday. Right, guys? So. All right. So looking for opponent. Let's see what happens here, guys. So <clears throat> we're playing against We Are The Foxes. Playing a fighting and water deck. So maybe a Buzzwall. Mm -hmm. All right. So we won the coin flip. Does my opponent even have anything new from the new set? I don't think so. Not that I saw on top of my head. Oh, great. Man, if we draw that, that new card, the new supporter card, discard two waters you right now, be pretty fire. Uh, to the Lele, it could be somewhat good. Mmm. So let's try to discard two water. We could go for Lele, grabbing this guy. Not the, not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, so that's what we're going to go Lele. Alright. Well, Lele for the little little dude man. Forget his name. Uh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forget his name. Sorry, guys. Alright, so Crash or Wake. So a Crash or Wake. Discard two Water G. So what do we want? Like an Aqua Patch. And another Aqua Patch. And just. We could go Max Luxor. Uh, but we know there's multiple waters in the discard pile. Wait, do we have three in the discard pile? We do, actually. So I'm going to grab double Aqua Patch. Oh, no, we need Aqua Patch and a Sporter card for next turn. So we'll grab a second more. There we go. We need a Sporter card from the following turn. So Brooklyn Hill for Palkia. So put down Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill for Palkia. All right. We'll double Aqua Patch, and we'll have a second more for next turn. There we go. That's a good turn one. Yep, so we'll Aqua Patch to this guy. We'll Aqua Patch to this guy. And we'll press done. All right, so he's playing a fighting deck, so he's definitely going to take advantage of this Brooklyn Hill. Uh, but maybe he won't be able to power Buzzwall so quickly. Hmm, maybe so. But we got to hope we get the Wishful Baton, Tash and Palkia, start cycling those energies over and over again. There's a Buzzwall Jex coming out. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought he was playing Buzzwall? Oh, my goodness. All right, so Max Luxor. Going to put a uh, fighting energy. <laughs> That's not a water energy. That's a fighting energy, Josh. Fighting energy to Buzzwall. Okay, good old Buzzwall getting powered up here. Now... This is very scary. If it's a max elixir and a fighting injury, he can then retreat, absorb from GX, and then realistically, we can't knock him out the next turn. Oh, so just pass. Ooh, is he like, ooh, touting the Manaphy as well. We don't have to Brooklyn Hill for it. All right, so we get two Palkias. Do we, we want to play two Palkias? Are we probably both two games in a row? All right, so we hit the last Aqua Patch. All right, this is actually really good. So Aqua Patch this guy. We can water the active. We can retreat into the Palkia. Wish up on the active and go for a hydro pressure for the knockout. Did my opponent really like time out last turn? Did he not just have anything? I don't know. So it's a wish of baton coming to your hand, okay. Well, wish of is not really that wishful if it doesn't work. Oh, he attached too. So okay, so he's got some stuff going on. So three, four, five, six, seven, one forty, one sixty, one eighty. We need three more energy. That's impossible. We can't knock out that guy next turn with our dude. Alright, it's so a max elixir. We're definitely going to see Absorption GX happening here, right? Yeah, we're we'll definitely going to see Absorption GX. So there's an Ultra Ball. We just got to hope he doesn't have a... Ooh, he had an Octillery Hand. There's a Rim Raid coming down, which means we're probably going to see Sycamore here. Most likely, yeah, there's Sycamore. We just got to hope he doesn't have the good old um, Field Blower. So Double Mew coming down. Okay, not too crazy. Mew's a very good card. And there's Absorption GX. We, yeah, well, that was a... Uh, Kind of saw that one coming, didn't we? So, we have all of our Aqua Patches already played. So, we'll put three Water on this guy. Press done. Alright. So, what we're going to do here is actually go for zero, the zero Vanish GX. Get all of his energies back in his deck. And uh, try to slow him down that way. So, put a Bush Baton here. We'll go for in. Put him at four. And they'll go for zero Vanish GX. Putting all of his fighting energies in his deck. Alright. So, I mean, the problem, I guess we could go for Super Rod. To show back in the Palkia and then Water Energy. And then Ultra Ball, these two away. Just in case he gets crazy this turn. For another Palkia. 
put down the Palkia, and we'll go for Zero Vanish GX. We're gonna put all those water energies, all those energies into his deck, all four of them. Zero Vanish GX. Oh wait, hold on. What am I talking about? Oh no, I used the wrong attack. Oh goodness gracious, guys. Goodness gracious. Well, that's great. Great. Good news. Good news. That's exactly what I want to happen. Alrighty. Thanks for playing today. On the price is right. Come on down. Miss click for days. Alright, so Knuckle Impact for the knockouts. Great, great, great. We're about to see why we're going to lose. Alright, so we'll put three digits here. Okay. Uh, do we have any Aqua Patches left? We do. So we can set up the Lele on our turn. We get a Wish of a Ton. Well, I guess Wish of a is not really that wishful right now. We'll still attach to get out of our hand. We'll go play in. We'll put him down to two. We'll get five. If we would have hit the right cards, we would be a totally different game right now. Uh, okay, Max looks are fell. We will retreat into this guy. And now we'll use his GX attack. Wait, did we use it last turn? Oh, we need five energies, Josh. Oh my goodness, Josh. You need five energies to use that. What are you talking about? You couldn't even use the last turn, you, you silly. You need five energies. I thought it was three for some reason. Oh my goodness. All right, show me Beast Ring here. Just attach a Water Gate and just end it, right? I mean, fighting energy, right? He just needs a fighting energy. Hmm. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Well, I, 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 look, Pokemon, thanks, thanks for, uh, okay, cool, I'm glad we can use this after we get knocked out. Great. Great. That went great. This is going great, guys. Great way to return back to Rogue Tuesday. Alright, so I'm game three. Oh, man. Alright, here go game three, guys. So, we're playing against... Susan, thanks, Susan. Guess that's their name. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Susan's what I'm assuming. All right, so call heads. Great. Didn't I didn't want to go first? Just kidding. Imagine they would go first, right? Right. Right. Good old Susan here. Did you miss me, guys? Did you miss me? Did you? I thought we had like misclicked, but it wasn't that we misclicked. It's that we didn't have enough energies, Josh. Alright, so press is done. I thought we were doing good that game, too. I thought we were going to do fine, and then Buzzwell did Buzzwell things. And see, that's the thing about this deck. If we went against Buzzwell, then they absorption, they could follow a knockout the next turn. You're like, oh, well, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright, so. Get a mulligan once. Just one mulligan. It's fine. So, we get Volcanion. Now, the good thing about this, if you put that into the Pokemon, we can use Volcanion's ability and switch out the active, which is really nice, right? So, okay, so let's start a Pokemon. Alright, so let's see what's going to happen here, guys. What are we going to get ourselves into? He plans to get a Dragon deck. Ooh. Alright, so Brooklyn Hill. We will Brooklyn Hill for a Palkia. Come on down. This must be a Malamar kind of thing, even Bobber. Alright, so Cynthia. Get a new hand of six. Give me an Ultra Ball. Wake Forest, whatever it's called. Okay, there's a Manaphy. Uh, I think we just press done right now. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait a turn. We'll wait. We'll wait to Ultra Ball. We'll see what it's in our next hand. Now, we could knock out the NK next turn, which is really nice. Uh, okay, there's the Ultra Necross Magix. There's a mysterious treasure. We're going to discard a card. Find themselves another NK here, most likely. Man, that deck is so good. I promise tomorrow you're going to figure out. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that I'm, I'm telling you that Malamar is the best deck to play coming up in these new League Cups thing, whatever. So, Choice Band, Lele, go to Lele for probably a Cynthia, most likely, right? I don't think you're in here, because you only have four cards, or five cards. You don't sick more, for sure. Yep, there's good old Cynthia, right? Man, it's like I'm a psychic, guys, or something. Like I played Pokemon before. So, we see Cynthia here, gonna shuffle their deck in hand, draw six of cards. Now, they need another NK next turn, or they're not gonna be knocking our Palkia. Okay, well, there they go. 
And they got the psychic energy. Alrighty, well, that's good. Good, good, good. So in our turn, we get a Aqua Patch. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Is it though? So this card a Guzman of Water G. We'll grab another Palkia. Alright. We'll put a uh, Palkia down. Water energy. We will use this thing. Grab another Palkia. Hey, we didn't prize another Palkia this game. Thank you, Pokemon. So Aqua Patch to the Palkia. And now we're looking for a Max Luxor. We're going to take a knock on this NK. Give me a Max Luxor. Alright. Do we have an Ultra Ball here? What do we do here? I think we just retreat into Palkia and just pass. Because I want to get... I mean... Uh, but now he's got a GX Pokemon in the X spot. He can, like, just bop in the face. Hmm. So there's a Malamar coming down. Okay. Alright. Malamar coming down. Okay. Hmm. There's a Psychic Energy going to the Lele. And a Psychic Recharge. Where is this going to right now? Is this hand just really bad right now? It's putting the energies in the Lele. Very interesting here. And a Guzma. Who's a Guzma up right now? Don't you dare hurt my guy. What a jerk. Mmm. Well then. Well, okay, we gotta remember, guys, we need five energies to do zero vanish GX. So, putting energy to active, we didn't have 100 HP. That's not gonna work, okay? Okay. It's not what we wanna do. That's not the plan here. Alright, so I think the plan is. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what the plan is right now. So, I think what we do right now is kinda use Jet Guys and see who he brings up here. Just bring up some of the active. Let's see who you bring up here, buddy. Bring me some money to the active spot. Alright, so I got, I'm fine with this place. So I'm going to touch up Water G here. Okay. I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard the Beable or Sycamore. Grab a Manaphy. Okay. We'll put down the Manaphy. We're going to go for Cynthia. Looking for a way to power up this guy this turn. That's what I really want to do is power up this Volcanian right now. Alrighty, so we got it. So we got Aqua Patch to the Volcanian. So put that there. We'll put a Wishful Baton on it. Retreat into the Volcanian, and we will go for that Sauna Blast. All right, there we go. Let's soften up those bench Pokemon as well. Do 20 damage each of those guys. While opponent's kind of dead drawing here. So it's a Max Luxor. Okay, that's another good card to have. All right. Ooh, now they have 170 HP and 150, which means we can use our Zero Banish GX to take it out. If we get that far in the game. So here comes NK. Okay, does he have another Guzma here? Hmm. I think the plan of attack next turn is definitely knock out his Malamar to try to, like, s slow down his setup here. So, let's go to the active. Okay. <clears throat> is he just dead drawing? This is what we need here, guys. There's a Lele. Oh, my goodness. Please. Let me find a way to knock out this guy this turn. All right. So, 100 damage. Okay. On our turn, please. Oh, my goodness. Please. Let me take a knock out this turn. Okay. Wait. Do we want to take a knock out this turn? That's the real question. I don't think we... Oh my goodness, we could. <clears throat> we could take a knockout this turn, right? I think we'd go for it, right? It's probably a bad idea. It's probably the worst idea we've had. But we are going to use its ability. We're going to treat into this Palkia. And we're going to go for the Zero Vanish GX. Do a 150. Taking a knockout. Oh, there we go. Probably a little greedy there. Taking a knockout. But we move the Psychic Energy off this guy. I don't think he's going to be able to take a knockout this turn. He needs at least... Uh, yeah, double psychic energy to take a knockout next turn. So he, he can't. Oh, actually, no, he just won. <gasps> oh, no. He can actually knock us out this turn. Okay, there's Ocean Across. I'm gonna find a Lele here. Okay, it's, it's a good card. That's a good card. Mysterious Treasure. Broken. Okay, so there's a Mew. Okay, well, I don't care about Mew. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a Lele. Okay, Mew, come down. I don't care. Not, do not care about that card. There's a Guzma. I think we're gonna win us a game here, guys. I think we're gonna win a game. So we're going to go into our turn. We're going to go to Guzma. Who is Guzma up here? Um, we can save the Guzma and just use it to win next turn. Yes, yeah, so we're going to water you here. I'm going to treat into the Volcanian. And let's go for another Sauna Blast. Do 120 to everybody. This should put this guy to 150. Is that enough for a knockout? Six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, we can win next turn. Oh my goodness, right? 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <gasps> we could do it. Oh, no. Oh, he sh Oh, he misplayed. He misplayed. Oh, he could have. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, he misplayed. He could have made us do less damage with the water side, and we wouldn't. We can't win this turn if he does that. But we got a water to regardless. Put that here. We'll Guzma bring up his Ultra Necrozma. Center Palkia GX, and we'll take the game with our Palkia. There we go. Hydro Pressure. I don't know how much you're doing. Like 140, right? 180. Oh. We did it, guys. We did it. There we go. There is Palkia GX Volcanian coming in action. It took us three games to get a win, but you know what? We will take that. Is that good? No. But you know what? It was a good way to start off Kuro Tuesday. I missed you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the video. I mean, if you have any suggestions for Palki at GX, let me know. I'm open for suggestions. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll discuss what's happening in the meta. What we missed. We missed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So make sure to cover that. Uh, and then we'll have Expanded Thursday. And for Fan Friday, make sure you like the fix page and we'll go vote. And we'll have a lot of fun. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We're so close to like what? Um, 10,500 or something like that. Like, you know, we'll be cruising. Not really gaining some, you know, we, we'll be cruising. We, I'm not really like looking for the subscribers. We're close to 10,500, which is pretty nice. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye.